Hey guys, hey amigos, uh, Rafael here. Uh, so this is something very quick I need to do here. Algo rápido que tengo que hacer aquí. Uh, I thought this would be interesting. Uh, this is my first time I'll, I'll be trying to repair um, a porcelain piece. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it might be delicate because it's porcelain. Uh, and I don't know how this would work if I grind into it or try to dremel it in my shatter. I have no idea. Uh, es primera vez que voy a, a tratar de arreglar este, algo de porcelana. No sé cómo funcione bien. No nada más hay que pegarlo, sino hay que ponerle algo para que reinforce los cuernos estos. I have to reinforce it, so I have to use not just glue, but something else. Uh, so that's where I'm, you know, I'm wondering about uh, porcelain. If uh, I, you know, dremel it or, or drill, I don't know what might happen. Especially this guy's, he's hollow, you know, but uh, might be delicate. So, let's try it out. Vamos a ver cómo arreglamos. Okay, so I'm going to repair this the same way I would repair a resin kit. Voy a prepararlo igual a como si fuera de resina. So, first I'm just doing crazy glue. Usando cola loca. Okay, so the plan is to use this wire. El plan es de usar este alambre and put it in here for support. This will work because this is thinner than this area. Uh, so I'll just drill a, a dremel a trench in here and put it in there. Uh, este resulta aquí porque este está más delgado que esta de aquí. But, pero, in this area, it looks nice here, but if you put it to the side, it's about the same thickness. Casi es el mismo gruesor. So that won't work because I can't drill, a, uh, I can't do a trench on here. No puedo hacer la zanja porque, you know, it'll be very thin or it might just go through. So, lo que hice es este, I flanned it out. Lo, lo aplané de un lado. Entonces ya está delgado. It's flat. So now this area is thicker than this area. So I would just, uh, you know, uh, do a little thinner trench here to lay this on there. Haría ya la zanja, no tan profunda, pero lo suficiente para que esto entre ahí. So, let's see what happens. It's porcelain, so let's hope it doesn't shatter. We will, so vamos a ver si no se rompe el completo eh, la porcelana. Okay, so this bit is not going through the porcelain, at least not that easy. No está funcionando muy fácil con esto. Uh, and it gets hot when I'm doing this. Of course, somebody out there might know better how to drill into or cut into this porcelain. Uh, again, I've never done this before, so I don't know what to use. Uh, I'm assuming a diamond bit, but I don't know if I have that. So let me try something. Vamos a hacer otra cosa, otra vez de diamante. Vamos a ver qué pasa. So I got a diamond, diamond cut tip here. Tengo este. Uno estilo cortante de diamante. Vamos a ver si eso resulta. Now I did put tape under here holding this antler just in case it decides to, I don't know, come off while I'm doing this and hopefully it keeps it in place or at least I don't lose it if it flies somewhere else. Le puse uh, tape por las dudas que no se vaya a caer y vuele por otro lado. So let's see if this works guys. Vamos a ver si resulta. It okay, looks like that one worked, but we'll see once I put the little wire in there. And we're going to do this guy. Vamos a hacer este lado. Este se ve que tal vez sí lo logré. Okay, so I drilled here. Ya le hice el agujerito ahí. Now this was scary because I started doing it with a dry um, bit, and I realized that it was getting hot. So I put water on there, and it actually drilled a lot easier. Al echarle agua, sin el agua noté que estaba batallando y se estaba poniendo muy caliente. Entonces le aventé agua y como que entró más fácil. Now the next step is to do 
this hole here, but that's scary because this is hollow. So, man, um, eso está hueco, así que aquí es donde va a estar muy peligroso porque no sé si se va a quebrar todo. I mean, everything could shatter. I don't know. And I did also make a groove right here because this seems like it's broken and needs to be as long as this. So what I will be doing here is adding a wire and creating that other antler. Uh, aquí le hice un hueco ya para ponerle esto aquí y uh, crear este el otro este cuernito. So let's get that going. But man, okay, I'm gonna be scared on that one. All right. But now I know water is good. So there we go. Okay, the good thing on this other one, I won't have to, you know, do that. Once this is glued on here, well, so then we go that way, it goes like this. Then I can just do a little trench and put the wire in there. This one was a tough one because I couldn't do it here. Aquí era más difícil hacer la zanja, tuve que hacerlo así, pero este va a ser más fácil porque es más, más directo. Así que este, let's get that guy going. So let's hope the crazy glue is strong enough to hold it. So I can do the trench. Vamos a ver que aguante el, la cola loca para... Alright, we're going to glue the little wire on here to later sculpt the extra horn or antler. Vamos a ponerle el alambre y luego para hacerle el otro cuernito. Okay, so I also mixed up some uh, epoxy scope. Uh, también mezclé la pasta de nuevo, como siempre. And uh, what I'm going to do is add it to these areas where, the, where I added the wire. Voy a poner donde está el alambre. Okay, so I mixed up some 5 minute epoxy in 5 minutos de, o sea, pegamento de 5 minutos. I also ground it off a little bit on the sides. También le quité un poquito aquí porque después le voy a poner el putty para crear el pelito y que le dé más soporte. I also ground it off a little bit on the sides. So once this is on there well, I can then go back and put putty around it, which will give it more support. All right, so this is nice and hard, pretty good. There we go. All right, so I went ahead and just uh, did the whole uh, antlers because uh, the color was kind of dull looking, so we're just gonna try to give them a better look. And then we'll just work on this guy here, make him look more alive. Well, pinté mejor los no sé cómo se llaman los canijos, los cuernos, uh, para que sean un poco más, mejor, están muy, muy opacos. Y ahora después arreglamos esto. Ok, ahora vamos a hacer el face. Alright, so this was just going to be a fixing of the antlers here, but decided to go ahead and uh, with the client's permission to make it look a little better, pop more. And uh, según esto no más iba a arreglar los cuernos, pero eh, uh, le dije al cliente si me da permiso para a menos darle un poquito más de detalle. So here we have it. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do now is just add five minute epoxy on the eyes, and the, he will come alive. Cuando le ponga el, uh, el pegamento en los ojos, el 5 minutos de pegamento, va a revivir más esos ojos. 
All right, guys. So here he is. I guess that went ahead and after all added some shading a little bit just to pop, make him pop more. Uh, le aumenté un poquito más de cosas que no estaba en el plan, pero para que se vea un poco mejor. So here he is. Antlers are all done. Added the gloss in the eyes. El, el brillo de los ojos lo hace ver como que está vivo. Y los cuernos pues ya están macizos. Nice and firm. All right, guys. So. Hope you learned something. Working on porcelain was not easy. It, it was uh, scary when you try to drill on this sucker. Uh, trabajando en porcelana, muy peligroso. Se puede quebrar muy fácil. Tuve suerte. All right, guys. Hope you learned something. Till next time. Hasta la próxima.